if we are serious about closing the digital divide, developing good policy here must be a top priority. This is especially important for New Mexico. Uh, many of my constituents rely on wireless technology to connect to broadband at home, their businesses, and access critical services. We must ensure this resource is used to its fullest potential to serve families in states like mine. Now, my first question, Mr. Lewis, the FCC's ability to conduct spectrum auctions is set to expire in September. When we extend that authority, Congress must ensure the commission can begin planning its future slate of auctions and start the complex technical evaluations and negotiations with incumbent spectrum users immediately. Kicking the can down the road, kicking the can down the road uh, benefits no one. Mr. Lewis, yes or no, does a longer term extension of FCC spectrum auction authority strengthen the FCC and NTIA's ability to make spectrum available to connect all Americans to high speed, reliable and affordable broadband services? Can you please explain yes. how a longer reauthorization will accelerate our mission to connect 100% of Americans to high speed, reliable and affordable broadband? So a longer, a longer authorization sets up the agencies, these are the expert agencies, to do the tough work of analyzing what bands and with what guidelines uh, those bands can be rolled out. And it's really important because we have moved into a space where there simply are a lot of, uh, not a lot of opportunities to get greenfield uh, spectrum. And so um, we have to be efficient, we have to be creative, and we need to look at options such as sharing and a, a good mix of license on license that takes careful planning by the two agencies uh, so that all the stakeholders are taken into account when we, when we think about uh, what spectrum bands can be used for, um, what they're, or what they're used best for, and, uh, and how those, uh, those allocations might be structured.